Blessings, blessings to you but guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. My wife had a dream, and I want her to share this dream. Yes. Hit it, baby. So I had a dream about Monique, not me. <laughs> the actress named Monique, and I believe y'all know who she is. So um, this is how the dream started. I was on, I was on, I was on the road with a couple of people in the car. And I began to see an 18-wheeler coming. And the 18-wheeler was swaying back and forth like this. And I, when I seen the 18-wheeler swaying back and forth, I began to see three people on top of the 18-wheeler truck. I was concerned. I pulled on the side of the street, and I began to watch all the commotion go down. And one particular person that I did notice on top of this 18 wheeler truck was Monique. And it kept driving and um, this 18 wheeler ran into this huge ditch, but this ditch had already, it had already uh, metal machinery in the ditch, like machinery that was metal, huge metal machinery in this ditch and the 18 wheeler ran into this ditch and it crashed. And I began to see Monique and those two other people. And they were like hanging, hanging. Now, when I was seeing Monique hanging, she didn't look as if she was dead yet. Cause I can see that she was still breathing and her eyes were open. And that, that was the end of the dream. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a major, major, crazy dream mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, this is not a, a dream that somebody will just see and be happy about, or you know, because you you might not like Monique, you know, then you really like, yeah, let let the evil happen, because this is this is not a good dream. This is showing like a a, a strong spirit of death. Wow following her like if like you see the speed of the truck mm -hmm. so this is the heavy how the heavy of the spirit how 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 urgency this dream is mm -hmm. you know the enemy really want to take her and you can tell the method you know in that area like the place that this uh, uh, truck oh that metal when, yeah all you know this shows that this has been a trap that a lot of people who a lot of these celebrities has went that way a lot of cele celebrities has passed out passed away this same way wow. and you know you know that uh, we live in a wicked world something will happen and they will label it something else right you know but they already know in the spirit what they have done in the spiritual realm they set up this and they're waiting for the manifestation. Only if Monique will see this and really humble herself and seek the face of God for repentance and for forgiveness, God will heal her land. This is the enemy. People that hate her so much, they have planted this. They have planted this so much and waiting for the manifestation. Mm. This is not good. No, it is not. And to be quite honest with you, when I woke up from the dream, I I wasn't too shocked. I say this is because Monique voices her opinion. And when someone treat her bad, she voices it. And she 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 has the right to do that to me. She has the right to do that. Um but my, one thing about Monique that she don't know that these people that she are exposing are high ranking witches and warlocks. Yeah. That's the part that she don't know. And she, she will expose it and talk about it. And I'm over here like, girl, you talking, but you don't, you don't, you can't, you don't bag it up with prayer and fasting and living yeah. right. If you don't have nothing to bag it up with, um, they will harm you because you know she, one of those people that she was angry with was Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, mm. <laughs> and another guy that she just basically produced. A, I mean, I mean, it was in the movie with. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm not really too shocked about this. I hate that though. 
Yeah, before you start saying that uh, I had in my spirit that this attack is not coming from one particular uh, group. Uh-huh. It's coming from a lot of groups, you know. So it might be more than two. I believe it's going to be maybe four or five of them. Are, like they just want anything, everything to do to keep her down, to put her down. But I believe with all my heart that God is still sustaining her because a lot of times people will need to hear, you know, some some secrets they do. being exposed. They do. You know, people still need to hear that and people still need to believe what God is using a lot of people to expose. She, you know, she, I believe she did a great job, you know, um, exposing at first I was kind of confused of what's really going on. Um, cause I don't really understand all of that. Yeah. And the more, um, you know, as years pass by, I'm like, okay, she, she's, she's, she's telling the truth. Yeah. I knew, I never knew she was lying though. She don't yeah. look like the type that would lie on somebody. Um, but the favoritism, you know, that's going on in, in Hollywood and, uh, even it'd be your own people too. Yeah. And that's what she's exposing. It'd be your own people. Um, they get jealous. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing how rich people are jealous of somebody else and, uh, they want to attack them financially. And, uh, it's sad that your own people that they, they, you be, you be trying to work hard at your acting career and your own people don't want to pay you good. You know, it's a lot of stuff. There's a lot and, of stuff. Uh, I really don't know why people want to see somebody pass their way. Like I know. They, they just want to take people's life. I, I just don't. I don't because they it. want they want her to shut up. And Monique is a type that she's not gonna shut up. I think mean, there's, <laughs> there's so many ways to do some things, and yeah. you know, there's so many ways. You know, get on your own camera. Get, get on like oh, what well, she's she's just lying. She's you know, yeah. like convince some people. You know, but it's all about to take somebody's life right away. I think that um, it would be very hard for them to say that she is lying because she is calling out big name people. And we know that her exposing big name people is actually frustrating her finances. Yeah. So why would somebody... Put, put put that on the line. Put that on the line. So we know we we trust what she say. Yeah. You know, until otherwise. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. trust what she say. And now Taraji P. Henson voiced out some things too. And you know, we had several dreams about Taraji P. Henson. Yeah. So, you know, even she needs to be careful. All of them need to give their life to Christ Jesus yeah. and have a good prayer life, but, but you know, while you are while you are exposing. But uh yeah, we as people that's regular people like us, yeah. we appreciate it because a lot of those secrets, you know, that secret society group, yeah. they all know about secrets and yeah. they want that secret to to stay the way it is. But if you keep keeping stuff in the secrets, um Nothing can be done if you keep it a secret. If you expose it, yeah. then people are alert of it. Yeah. You know? But yeah. people need to be treated right. Yeah. I don't care if you're the president of the United States, you need to treat people right. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, you know, the dark world just evil, man. Yeah. The dark world just evil. They don't care if they treat you right or wrong. They just don't care. They just want to hurt you. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, I love that this lady is exposing. I love that a lot of people are willing to expose the elite. Uh, at the same time, when you are, when you are eating with the devil, when you are surrounding yourself with people that are doing witchcraft, uh, 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 all these satanic kingdoms, mm-hmm. if you are around them and you are not believe, a believer of Christ, or maybe you just confessing that but you are not really close to jesus right. not close to god is dangerous yes because these people can go all in to do you so harm to hurt you so bad they can go all in they don't care if you have children they don't care if you just got married uh, uh, married they don't just care if you just have a new promotion they just want to hurt you but only one, uh, uh, you know, only God can perfect you. Only yes. God can reveal the deeper things, what they are preparing. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, be careful. Don't go to this city. Don't mm-hmm. go to this country. Right. Don't go, go go to this meeting. Don't go here. God will always guide you because he knows 
that you are ready to keep on exposing the darkness because Jesus Christ, when he came, he exposed a lot. And yes, he, he says, whatsoever that he do, we'll do it more. You know, so if God, if Jesus went in that house of God, of quote unquote God's synagogue house, and destroy everything, mm -hmm. he still wants us to go out there. When you see something that is not right, mm -hmm. call it out. Right, right. That knowing that this is wickedness, this is evil, but you just oh, oh for my own good, let me just be alive. I don't want to. I don't want these people to take my life, but. There is a lot of people that will be a victim. Yes. The blood of those people will be upon your head. Right. Ezekiel was very clear on that. Mm -hmm. mm, that's crazy. Y'all keep uh, Monique up in prayers. Yeah. And I want to say something, though. Back in the day when I used to listen to Monique or whatever, when she wants to talk, because sometimes she talks. You know, we all know that she's not saved, right? So you can't expect her to be like, talk any other type of way. She's a comedian too. So you already know how those yeah. comedian jokes can be. But sometimes Monique can go into a voice of encouragement. And sometimes when I was younger, I used to say, man, I think she have a call of God upon her life. Like I used to, I used to be like, this sound like a, like she's preaching a message. <laughs> yeah. She sound like she should be a preacher or uh, like she should be a ministry, yeah. uh, but she just didn't go that way. I always felt like she had a call of God up on her life, but I don't know. Sometimes I'd be like, you know, Monique, I don't have, I have no issues with Monique. Only thing I have with Monique is that she encourages like that poly type of, uh, or that yeah, open she's marriage she's, yeah. type of relationship. You know, I don't think any woman should encourage another woman and yeah. I'm not saying that she's saying that y'all should do y'all should do what I'm doing, or you should allow your husband to do do what he want to do. No, we not. I'm not necessarily saying that she's convincing people out of her mouth, yeah. but that lifestyle can convince a a, a small minded person. If Monique can do it in her marriage, then let me do it in my marriage. Yeah. They look like they at peace with it. And uh, so let me do it. You know, I don't like that because to me, Monique needs to know that she's beautiful on the outside. Yeah. And she's and she probably have the be a beautiful heart with it. And I feel like you shouldn't be allowing your husband to do whatever he want to do with other women. And you shouldn't be that as well doing that with other men because soul ties come in. Yeah. You know, and then you have children, Monique, you teaching your children you know, okay. to be in relationships like that. That's not good. You, a woman need to be faithful to her husband and her husband needs to be faithful to, 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 to him. Mm. That's how it should be. But mm. I know everybody can't be the way we think, yeah. but it's just to me, that's the only thing. That's the only issue I have. Like, man, that's, that's the messed up part right there <laughs> about them, but it's all good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Uh...